I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on limits. Now this is level two questions which we are discussing, especially for students who are seeking admission for excellent universities. And some of you are also taking AP calculus. It will be very helpful for those also. The question here is to find limit when x approaches 1 for sine of 1 over x minus 1. Now we are going to use the definition which Haynes wrote to find such limits. In fact, we'll prove that the limit does not exist for this particular function. So let's read through these lines. For limits does not exist we need to show that there exist two sequences x prime and x double prime such that limit for x prime when x approaches infinity is equal to limit for x double prime when x approaches infinity and both are same a do you understand both these limits are same while the corresponding functions fx dash and fx double prime do not have identical limits right so that is the postulate which we have now how do we use it to prove that the limit of sine 1 over x minus 1 does not exist when x is approaching 1 so we have to look for conditions when the value of sine is very clearly known to us uh, Let's say this is our sine graph. We know that whenever the value of x is n pi, sine is 0. Correct? So that is one thing which is known to us, which is sine of n pi is equal to 0. The other thing which we also know is that it is 1 add pi by 2 and repeat it to n pi right so we also know that sine of 2 n pi plus pi by 2 is equal to 1 clearly that is known to us right so so that means we know if n approaches infinity for these two functions the value of sine n pi will be 0 and sine of 2 n pi plus pi by 2 is 1 right so so what we know is that the limit when n approaches infinity for sine n pi i mean let me write n now will be 0 since it is this and the limit when n approaches infinity for sine of 2 n pi plus pi by 2 will be equal to 1 now what you notice here is that these two limits are not same right so so above limits are not same so do you notice that part now can you correlate from what i wrote here to this now that means we have a function somehow if i could write this as n pi and 2n pi plus pi by 2 right where of course n could have any natural numbers as its values it could be 0 also but we can write this as n equals 1 2 3 and so on right we find that the limit for both these functions is different it is not the same right so now Working backwards, we have to look for two sequences which could give us that result from this equation. You get the idea. So we are working backwards. So what we do here is work backwards. That is how we get our solution. So how could I define my series? We can say, well, this is set of n terms which should be giving me that result so x n could be what since we have denominator x minus 1 better is to write 1 plus so 1 and 1 will cancel and this is in the denominator so 1 over n pi will be a good option and what we also note here is that the limit 
as n approaches infinity for 1 plus 1 over n pi is actually equal to 1. Since n approaches infinity, the other term is 0. Now, what could be the other sequence? We are writing that as xn second prime. So, of course, 1 we have to cancel. So, we we'll write 1 plus something. And what do I need? I need this as 4n pi plus pi over 2, right? So, I can write this as 2 over, so we just flip it, right? And write this as 4n pi plus pi, right? That is what we get, 4n pi plus pi over 2. So, we just flip it and write it here. Perfect. Now, that gives us the limit as n approaches infinity for 1 plus 2 over 4n pi plus pi is what? Now, if n is very large, this whole number is 0, approaching 0, so we get 1. So, what we see here is that the limit as n approaches infinity, this should be n, right? This should be n. As n approaches infinity for xn prime is equal to 1, and which is also equal to limit as n approaches infinity for xn double prime, which is also 1, you have shown. Got it? Now, to provide the solution, we will start from here. So, we will say let the series be xn equals to 1 plus 1 over n pi and x double prime be 1 plus 2 over 4 n pi plus pi. You will observe that the limit of these two series is 1 plus 1 over something and that something is approaching 0 when n is approaching infinity. So, the limit is 1. So, for both, we have a limit of 1. Now, the, for the function of x of n, we notice that f of, so we notice that limit when n approaches infinity for the function f of x prime is basically equal to 0. But the limit when n approaches infinity for the function x double prime, which is a function of n, let me write xn here, okay, is equal to 1. And these two limits, as you have seen here, are not equal, right? Are not same. Therefore, limit x approaches 1 for sine of 1 over x minus 1 does not exist. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to solve such questions. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share my videos and also watch the other two which I am adding to this list so that you understand the whole concept. So working backwards really help to solve such questions otherwise it could be challenging. Thanks for watching and all the best.